Robert Scoble, the startup liaison officer at Rackspace, and we're here at the Rackspace studio at TechCrunch 2012, meeting uh, cool entrepreneurs. We're uh, going out in the hall and grabbing them and bringing them in here and wrestling yeah, with them. Yeah, so, <laughs> and you're the next one. <laughs> so who are you? I'm Fred. I'm from Portugal. Our and we have the, we go out. Uh, it's our startup. We yeah. are launching in Brazil, and we go out is the social nightlife discovery. Very cool. There's a lot of apps in this space because everybody's trying to find a, you know, jazz clubs or places to go or movies to see. Or I showed you a couple apps that are yeah, showing you even indeed. trending uh, things on Instagram. Like now is an app. There's so many apps. Yeah. So how do you stand out in this space? And <laughs> what do you do different? I guess. Yeah, like bridging online to offline is one of the trends. Other trend is finding solving this problem because like. Oh, I remember having this problem for more than 15 years. Like, I look younger, but I already have 35. Yeah. And since I go out, I have these two problems. Like, uh, if I don't keep up with other friends that are social and go to night out, I keep not knowing about which parties are going to rock this weekend. And so, in our days, it's possible to solve. So, I think that's because of it, because of now it's possible to be solved. So, what we are doing, we are going a little bit further than our competitors uh, by one I'm, I'm only seeing apps that are using or Facebook or Foursquare to solve this problem or by check-ins or by uh, events on Facebook so we're, we're merging the two concepts in a, in a whole and we are focused on light life and uh, because this is like an issue that happens I think even more on so light life. disco clubs or clubs, bars, where to go next. Uh, so not really movies, because movies is something we do in the evening, but it it's not what I think of as nightlife. Yeah, know? it's not nightlife. Because, and it's like it's when you find what I believe is when you look for a movie, you look for the director, the actor, the storytelling about the, about the movie. But when you're single, looking for a fan, what you care about is the amount of people going and how many friends are going. So these are the things that we connect through social networks and we give to you. Like how many people are going, how many women, how many men, the average age of that party. And we can tell you like, your friends are going, which are of them, we even do friends of friends. And then we do real time, because a party on a night out, like half an hour ago it was good, but in an hour it can be like uh, boring. Yeah. So we need to have an app to be real time telling you what's becoming hot or not. So once you get out of the bar, you decide to go to the other bar, you need to go check the app and see what's now going to be hot. So, so this really works in a city like a New York? A, yeah, big cities. You know, uh, Shanghai, uh, Tel Aviv. Yeah, Rio de Janeiro, for example, that's where we are. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where we are focused now for the moment. We are focusing on Rio de Janeiro, and then we're gonna focus in Sao Paulo. And if you know Brazil, you know that Brazilians love to go out yep. and they are very sociable. So it makes totally sense uh, to be there uh, for launching these apps. It's a new trend, but I think it's a perfect market to be in, to, to check like, how, how it's going to work. And also, business owners in Brazil. Brazil is incredibly uh, the number two country in the world in terms of Facebook usage. Yep. So event promoters, Oh, I think all of them use Facebook to tell about the parties that are going on tonight. Yeah. So people already use Facebook, so now it's become like very obvious to use that information from Facebook and adapt it and synchronize with the Foursquare check-ins, and then we have like an app that really can tell you where, where to go. Yeah, my brother owns a bar in Virginia, and uh, he's using Facebook to tell what bands are playing Friday night. And so now you can decide, oh, I don't like that band, I'm not gonna go there, I'm gonna go there. Yeah, bar. impressively, Facebook become a, a full marketing tool to advertise events on, on bars. So do you pull those events into your app then? Yeah, or? yeah, that's what we do. So that's the reason why uh, if you go now, to we go out in San Francisco, you will find, for example, five, six, seven events maximum. Because we need to have users logging in to grab the each user event and it's friends of that user events, so we can start crawling Facebook uh, locally based. So if you go to Rio de Janeiro, we have like 5,000 per week events coming in, so we can show to people. 
So it makes much more sense when we are focusing on one market. That's why even being like a global service, we need to be locally based. And uh, the also, also reason because business owners, those are the ones that we need to be close to ask them to act deals to ask them to make uh, special offers and so we can have like revenue from there. Is there any way to say, if I go to one of these events, and I probably won't, but let's yeah. say if I was, <laughs> my 18 year old son would do this. If he goes to one of these events and it's really cool, is there a way to signal to his friends, hey, you should come here. Yeah, it's, it's our app cool. allows to check in and through the check in, we ask you like to rate the party in terms of if it's good or not, if it's cool or not how many time you spent in the line to get in, and if it's more men or women. That yeah. way, you spread the word to your friends and related and those that follow you when you go out, that I was the party over there. And you can even take a live picture from inside and it'll be added of the live picture from inside on that, on that event. Very cool. How do you make money with this? Yeah, like we have these dating flirting uh, features, both on website and on mobile. On the mobile, for example, when you check in on a party, you can also see who's already there. Yeah. And uh, so we have these ice breaks that you can send on the premium users. So if the other user accepts, like we have four predefined uh, ice breakers. May I pay you a drink? Shall we dance? Uh, let's talk. Or in Brazil works very well, it's like may I kiss you? And if the other person accepts it, uh, you both are notified, your devices turn shining blue and asking you to raise your hands so them to see each other in a, in a bar. Ah. So that way like those kind of flirty issues are for premium users. Okay. Also when the website, if you want to use it more as an online dating, like meeting new people over there, for sending more than five messages a day or for you to be pro promoted your profile, you pay. But the money, we think that the money will come much more from the business owners and event promoters. Yeah. They also have a problem today to advertise their events and places. Flyers in the streets are not working the same way they did in past. So no. a tool to promote real time a bar or an event makes totally sense for them. Very cool. Um, where do we get it? Uh, we so we are waiting for Apple Store to approve the, the app. Yep. Online it's already, it's already, it's already there. And it's already, and we are prepared because we have rack space as a, as hosting. Oh, I didn't know. That. Thank you <laughs> yeah. very much. So I'm prepared. Like if it's what, what should we search for in the iTunes store? Sorry. What should we search for in the iTunes store again? Remind we me of the name. We go out. We go out. We go out. And it's wegooout.com as well. Yeah. Very cool. Is. Okay. Well, thank you for coming no, out. It sounds so like a lot of fun. Yeah. I need thank to you use so much. it. <laughs>